All right, here we go. Let's do alchemist. So, just map up here. Place map. Okay. Uh, we'll just clear that up there. All right. So we've got a few spells here. I'm just gonna get ourselves set up here at level 15. Okay. So our Q is an area heal. Uh, you'll just point and click channel heals as long as you're still inside that area. Your auto attack is when well, you have a ranged auto attack and you have a melee auto attack. Uh, the melee attacks are faster, so they take less time to attack and there's a shorter delay between them. If you switch between a melee into a ranged, the ranged attack will have a longer delay, but then once you get back to the melee attacks will be fast. So you can just sort of see some basic cutting there. Uh, your W is a bomb, it deals increased damage against structures, uh, it does damage over time, just get anything you hit it, and if it's got the poison on it, you can auto attack it with your ranged attacks to explode. So here's the melee attack here, going a little bit faster. Not a much, not much faster, but a bit faster. Uh, also the W reduces healing and armor. Uh, your E here uh, can be used on yourself or allies. So I can put it on friend Guardian here. Uh, it makes them tankier, so they'll take 40% less damage, and they'll deal 50% more damage. The size increase is purely visual, but it can allow you to block the visuals for like DM to prevent targeting. So your like your player model can block things. And so now it's impossible to click on Guardian, for example. So just be cautious with that. Uh, and Mutagen has a added bonus when you use it on the Alchemist himself, that it uh, makes him attack harder for his melee hits and range hits as well as giving him move speed. And once you get to level 5 mutagen, you also increase the amount of healing you give. So here's Q normally, doo -doo -doo -doo. and then we'll do that again, but with this increased healing bonus from mutagen, level 5. So now he'll get 3. Uh, go away. Okay. That's just because I have debug mode on. Alright, so here we have Clarity. Clarity removes a variety of debuffs, including Poison, Grave Wounds, Withered, Toxic Slime, basically all the anti-heal buffs, and, um, yeah, and Poison. Uh, this also includes Assassin Poison and Rogue Poison and stuff like that, so for PvP it's quite powerful. Uh, it will give mana over time, so this guy here will just have him use his mana on something. I'm making a portal. Then we can restore that mana, and we'll give him a bit of cooldown reduction. So you can see the cooldown is ticking a little bit faster than normal. And it goes back to slowing down. Uh, your T, your ultimate, is black hole. It will pull enemies in, suck them in, so you can blow them up with your acid. Your acid does do AoE damage. Okay. 